but there's a difference between bringing a political commentator to this university on your own dime. Y'all can bring them with your money if y'all have it. Obviously, you guys don't. That's why you're here. Um, Conservative commentator and radio host Ben Shapiro is planning to visit UCF on March 23rd for a public event. Those opposed say while they support free speech, they're against spending student funds to the tune of $20,000 to pay for him to be here. Student government, who listened to both sides Thursday night, is responsible for allocating the money. Asking me and our students to pay for somebody that has openly attacked us and our identities and invalidating our existence, that is a hard no. But those who support Shapiro's visit say he would bring beneficial dialogue. We hope to hear a lot of what he thinks about the current election, how he thinks that could affect Florida. There is a community on this campus that wants him here, and they should be heard. So please vote yes on the bill. The event will be hosted in partnership with Young America's Foundation. An organization that has millions of dollars that they could easily pay for this uh, thing to go on, but instead is requiring that the school pays $20,000 in order to make it so. 34 students signed up to speak, 20 against using school funds to bring Shapiro here, 14 who said yes. There is a community here who really wants Ben Shapiro to come, and that should not be denied. Vote yes on the bill. Thank you. In the end... Vote count of 16 to 17 to 1, Fiscal Bill 5260 passes unfavorably. Because this wasn't a super vote, the matter will take on a third reading next week, and there will be another vote as well. I'm Gail Pascal brown on the UCF campus for West 2 News.